All right, Shalom Akiyam. First and foremost, I have to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakak Padash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Samo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, push us knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that we call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that we call God, the one that we call Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh means He to be or He is. Bahashem means in the name and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to start off by saying Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, and the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for this opportunity. And the water y'all by Shimmy Shai for all you beloved brethren out there pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Alright. So I'm gonna start over Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. It says, Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, but thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. So what you're witnessing and what's going on in the world. Throughout the four corners of the earth, you witness the the, uh, the downfall of the modern day Babylon, the daughter of the Chaldeans dealing with the elites. This whole thing with um, Israel and Hamas, um, everything's going to con continue to escalate. Also, the financial structure, you know, the economic structure of it is going to, you know, prices of things are going to continue to escalate as well. <laughs> as you can see, we, we're living in the age of decadence. The, the, uh, pretty much this, this this society this whole uh, uh, power structure is at its end is at its end because the scripture clearly says as well the second edge I believe was 9 and 5 that, uh, was 6 and 9 I believe um, please I don't want to misquote it matter of fact I'm going to get it right it's uh, second edge chapter 6 verse 9 for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So we're at the end of the so-called white man's rulership over this earth. And the whole world has seen it. You know what I'm saying? If you have some type of brains in your head and you've done some type of research, you can see this society, this capitalist society is at its end. So what's left? War. Now, this guy's going to, you know, go into details about a lot of things that we've been saying, man. <laughs> And all praises Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for this insight. Today, who is rallying behind Israel is going to lose. I mean, obviously they're going to lose. Because rallying behind Israel just shows that you are still stuck in this old colonialist, imperialist, racist, western supremacist mentality that the entire global south rejects. And frankly, not just the global south. I mean, there are huge numbers of people in the west itself who reject this. The majority of people on earth reject this. So you see, you're showing the whole global south, you're showing the whole world that you can't change. That you're the same as you ever were. I think the west, and America in particular, needs to understand that the whole world is seeing you for what you are your stance on Palestine makes it starkly obvious to everyone that you are not actually mature or developed enough to deserve a leadership role in world affairs and certainly not in the affairs of the global south certainly not in all of the countries that have been your victims all these years I mean there's no repentance on your part there's no contrition there's no moral improvement or change there is no repentance uh, it cannot be healed. There is no repentance, man, for this place. This place is, is, has reached a, a pinnacle that it kind of it cannot pass, man. It is, whew, truly, there's a higher power because only He knows, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know this, 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 this society has to go, will go. This is evil as hell. 
change in you. You are exactly the same people who wiped out the Native Americans. You're the same people who regarded Africans as subhumans. You're the same people who murdered hundreds of thousands of Japanese civilians in a matter of seconds at Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki. You're the same people who dropped napalm on civilian villages in Vietnam. I mean, on and on. Nothing changes. And nothing exposes this today more than your stance on Palestine. Nothing demonstrates that you have not changed or developed in centuries more than your shameless support for Israel. And believe me, you're alienating the whole planet by this. When you back colonialist Zionist violence against the Palestinians, everyone sees it as emblematic of your whole attitude to the non-Western world, to the non-white world. Everyone in the global south identifies with the Palestinians. Everyone in the Muslim world identifies with the Palestinians. When you declare your support for total war against the Palestinians, when you declare your support for a psychopath like Netanyahu calling for basically a final solution against the Palestinians, well, everyone in the global south gets the message. You are deranged, immoral, barbaric, bloodthirsty, racist savages. And all your talk about human rights and the rule of law and all of that is all just hideous hypocrisy. You don't mean any of it, and you never did. Hideous hypocrisy, man. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, dealing with the modern day Babylon, aka America. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. So the Lord is taking this whole society, this um, evil power structure, out of his power seat. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. This place will get touched will be broken down from the inside out. Take the millstone and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make beard the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the river. So everything is being revealed in these last days, man. Through their propaganda, through their lies, their deception is not working anymore, man. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't matter if any of you stupid-ass celebrities like Vlad or vocab Malone, you're not a celebrity you're just, a, just a clown it doesn't matter prophecy will commence you all will be put to shame and and the israelites will be back in the power seat under the messiah hamashiach yawashai forever man and we're going to go back into our land because that's our land over there thy nakedness shall be uncovered everything is being uncovered Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So this is the Mosai saying that he's going to take vengeance on this evil society. And he's not going to meet you as a man. He's going to send his, his son back, his only begotten son back with a great angelic force to, to, to man. Well, will not part of number to, to, to fucking trample this bullshit. This is all bullshit, man. You understand? Shit. It says, as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel, which his name is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Sit thou silence, get thee into darkness. All right? When something is get put into darkness, you have been taken out of power. You would not hold this 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 you will not have this hole upon the world anymore man the minds of the people that's what the word government means the control of the minds O daughter of the chaldeans for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms i was wrought with my people i have polluted my inheritance so that's why the negroes and latinos and native americans are in this predicament we have been punished by, by the only true God, the God of the Israelites. But the Heavenly Father is, is pulling us up out of this thing, man, by renewing of our minds. We got the, we got our, our heritage back, regardless if you people believe it or not. We got our language back, regardless if you believe it or not. And we know the tribes. We know these, these prophecies. We know these breakdowns, regardless if you people believe it or not. This, these things are happening. If, they're all the, if they are the people... What, what, why is it, if they are God's people, why why is wars over there, man? Because they're not. They are imposters. And give them into thy hand, thou didst show them no mercy. No fucking mercy, man. The dude even went into how you treated, you know, he, he's into the Muslim culture, but you know what I'm saying? Truth flowed, wisdom flowed in all things. 
how you, you, you pretty much name the, the top tribes. You're dealing with Judah, Benjamin, Levi. They said the African Americans are subhuman. Then he went to the Northern Kingdom. How they massacred, all right, the Native Americans. You know, that's Israel. You got to pay for all that shit, man. No mercy upon the ancient thou has thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And the yoke that you lay these this paperwork, man. It's paper trail. God forbid you get caught up in this trap. You catch felonies. You oh my God. There's so many uh 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 oh backlashes from that. Hard for you to get certain jobs to rent places like golly. This is an evil, evil place, man. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither didst thou remember the latter end of it. So, this the latter end of it. Therefore, now hear this. Though thou art given to pleasures, and that's what this po place pushes, pleasure. Hypersexualization of sex, man. Partying and bullshit. The thought culture be man clubbing and that's it. Thou dwellest carelessly. Thou sayest in thy heart, I am and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, not neither shall I nor the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in the moment. In one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantment. So these things are happening fast, man. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord willing the most I have mercy upon us, man. Brakate Yahweh Brakate Yahweh Shai is a quick lesson. Shalom.